y'all welcome back to the channel yeah she a whole mess out here but that's okay um today i got up i felt really really good and i was talking to my sis mish mish and we was just talking about you know how we were single and stuff like that and how um she has two kids i have one son and y'all already know that but anyways um how things were different um, before we got with our mates, our boyfriends, and stuff like that, and how, like, it just changed, like, you know what I mean, like, you want your family, like, we, we have whole families now, you know, and, um, and so, I just feel like it's beautiful that, you know, I can say, I have a family, like, you know, because before, seven years ago, I can't even say that, like, I was, to be honest, I was just an emotional wreck. My anxiety was going through the roof and just, it was just crazy back when. <laughs> so now that my son's 10, like, I was telling her how he, um, um, because his uh, dad sent him money and stuff like that, even though he's an absentee dad, father, I still tell my son, hey, love your father, um, as 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 much as you love God, you know, um, and don't don't ever have ill manner towards your father because he's not in your in your life or in the picture. Well, since Babe came in, um, he's just been so amazing with my son. He's been like I didn't think that he would come in and love him the way that he loves him, you know. And plus, I wouldn't play if he didn't, you know, if he didn't want to be um, around my son. Like, I, I wouldn't play that. You know, um, if you take me, you take me and plus, you know, equals us. So, I love my little family, y'all. Like, we, like, I just love my family. And um, I just have to say to all the single parents out there, single mamas out there, it's gonna get better it's it's with the world today and all the stuff that's happening crazy things you guys like it'll get better um and like i said i do things for them and babe always tell me like babe you need to go and shop you need to go do stuff for you and i have like this whole big old thing where i i do shop for myself but at the same time um I still be thinking about them and I, I see some stuff at Burlington or wherever I'm at. I see some stuff. I'm like, I can't pass this up. I got to get this for babe. I got to get this for my son. And I just love them, y'all. Like, I love my little family and I just, I wouldn't trade them for nothing. And anywho, uh, me and my sister, we were just, you know, reminiscing, talking about it and stuff like that. But anyways, I did go to Burlington today. I just put out a Burlington haul that I did lost the footage of the uh the actual like the beginning of the Burlington haul but you guys still got um some of that footage um anyways you guys how y'all like my nails like I did these myself they're so cute they're um OPI um nail polish I just say like I'm minimalist I'm saving money and I'm not going to get my nails done for uh, probably another month or so. So, I'm just going to start doing it myself. If I love doing my own nails, I'll just continue to do my nails. But this is the brand OPI. Um, and this is like a neutral color. I love it. It's like a lilac. And then also, I have my little nail fan. Just press it. Put your hand and press it. Well, it'll make noise if I do it now. But press it and then like the fan will start going it'll dry your nails and i really love this little kit thing and i honestly really love it and the fact that i can do my own nails like i love it so you guys like i said i went out today i spent some time with myself this morning i got up and spent time with god um my new routine i spend time with god i like i said i want to get to know god and me and babe was talking about it and stuff like that and i just me personally i'm one of those type of people i like to dig deep and see you know why are you not going to church or why you don't read the bible um and all that good stuff and you know 
Um, my thing is, I don't know God, you know, and the simple fact that I know he's going to continue to bless me because I want to know him and I want to get close to him. And, um, I'm not one of those, uh, I know the Bible by every scripture. I know scripture in every section or every chapter in the Bible, you know, and as long as I know my favorite uh, chapter, um, John three sixteen, that chapter right there, I just love it so much because he did give his only begotten, you know, um, and then the fact that he gave his life for all of our sins and, and gave us a second chance at life. Um, it, you know, yeah, y'all, <laughs> but I'm in a, I'm in, I'm on a journey. I'm following a path that he wants me to follow. Um, um, and I want to see, like they said, you know, you will get to that path, but don't rush it, you know, and I'm not rushing it, but I'm just excited for the journey. Um, and wherever he's leading me to go, that's where I'm going. And I'm just praying about it. Another thing you guys I've been thinking about is moving to Tennessee. Um, when Ashton gets out of elementary school next year, he'll be in the fifth grade. So I want him to start his new journey, um, at a new school. Um, especially when he gets in uh, middle school, junior high, um, a new journey and a new chapter and a new place. Um, I want him happy. I don't know if I told you guys, but my son, he's in Dallas ISD and it is, they don't care. Like <laughs> he has one teacher now that she really, really cares. She loves Ashton. Like she loves her kid. She, she, and she treats all her students the same in the class. She works with them one-on-one -on -one. and it's hard to find a teacher like that. Um, my son, he's, 10 only 10 and he he's had to put up with so much bullying and people calling him out his name and i'm just <laughs> as a parent i'm sick of it i know that moving him to a, another school that of course is not going to change but then it'll give pressure off of him because moving him to a another school will get him new friends that um that he can say that's my friend, you know, or get him in a better school that has actor, extra extracurricular activities. Because <laughs> um, this school don't have any kind of activities. Like, all the activities that they have, it just seems like they're for kids that are kindergarten, first grade, second grade. And then they have for my son, which he's in the fourth grade, um, they just sit around and watch. That's what I'm finding out. So... Yeah, I, I'm just ready for something new. I've been like praying about it. God, is this the right decision? Is this what you want me to do? You know, um, and so I just feel like getting away from Dallas because I was born and raised in Texas. Like I was born and raised in Dallas. And so I've been here all my life, like all my whole life. Like I've been here in Texas. So I just feel like it's time for a new scenery. Um, and if you ask, I'm gonna miss my family, like my my mom and stuff. Of course, I'm gonna miss my mom and stuff. Eight hours though, like it'll be eight hours uh, for me to come and see her, and just spend a week with her, and then go back home. Um, eventually, I feel like my mom she will she will leave, you know, um, and come where I'm at. Um, just right now, my aunt. Um, she is, um, dealing with type four, um, cancer. She's in stage four cancer. I said type, type four, but stage four cancer. And so my mom's like, I'm not leaving my sister. And I, you know, I don't blame her. I wouldn't leave her either. And like I told her, I'm not leaving her either. Like, but, um, after Ashton finished school and stuff like that, um, for elementary, we are planning on moving to Tennessee. So I'll be a Tennessee person. And yeah, but um, until then, 
I'm still a Dallas native because this is where I was born. This is home. Oh, I stopped at Dunkin' today, you guys. If you made it this far, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up. Turn on all post notifications. Show your sis some love. Thank you so much for supporting me. I see you guys supporting me. And I am very excited. Um, and I'm very... You guys make me just happy all the way around. Like, as a mom, like... You guys make me so happy, like, I'm close, I'm close, like, you guys, like, this is, like, to make a little change, pocket change on YouTube was always my, like, my thing, because it, it will help me, um, and it will help my son, um, and just help us to grow, you know, um, but we're not there yet, but I cannot wait till we get there. Um, so thank you guys so much. And I always say, <laughs> you're not obligated to subscribe. You're not obligated to hit that thumbs up. You're not obligated to, uh, turn on post notification, but it's always, always, always a big support when you do do that for your sis. Cause I'm your sis. I'm your big sis. I'm your little sis. Like I'm your sis. We family. Come on in. Come on in. No, stop playing. Stop acting shy. Come on in. Cause I got a haul for y'all. So I did stop at Dunkin', y'all. I got some donuts for babe. He was trying to get to Krispy Kremes. And I just got two glazed donuts. But um, I didn't know Krispy Kreme don't have their uh locations open no more. Like you gotta go through the drive-thru and babe was like, uh-uh. <laughs> So, um, I went and just got him some donuts and then I got like a, sis put me on to this y'all. I'm going to put y'all on to it. It's a vanilla bean ice coffee with foam shots or yeah, foam shots. Um, and obviously you don't see the foam. I'm trying to save this because I did have like a lot, like I did have a lot. So yeah, I should have just drunk to right there and then drunk to right there but i got a large and so um yeah she put me onto that and i love like at first i didn't like it then you just gotta let it sit a little bit and let that you know that vanilla bean syrup mix all up in there um and then it was really good um so let's get to this haul burlington haul um i spent at burlington 89.80 you guys I had ten dollars left, <laughs> but I'm gonna put that in my petty cash. So if I need it for something, then you know if I need something for petty, my petty cash. You guys already know I have my little binder here. This is my budget binder. I love this binder. Um, and so I just put like money in there. So now when I get paid, I am going to start. Taking at least five hundred dollars out and then just put it in my binder and just save it, cause I've noticed since I've gotten it and my sis put me onto that budget planner, like I live really been saving you guys, like and I'm just really excited. And it don't matter how much you save, you can save twenty dollars here, twenty five dollars there, however much you can save, save. You know, if you want to save over a hundred dollars, by any means, save that much. But I ain't. Look, I work a full-time job. I'm a manager, and I, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, my, my check barely hit 1,200. My check sometimes barely hit 1,000, you know, so I work hard. I work really hard, you guys, and I try to make a full check, you know, um, but if business, I work in a restaurant industry, so if business is not picking up or anything like that, my check is not hitting 1,000, so I'm normal. Like I tell you guys all the time, I'm a normal person. I have to work just like you work. Um, and so, yeah. So, let's get into this haul because I know I just told you about it. So, I got this cute little bag. Y'all already know I got to pick up a recycle bag all the time. But I love this saying on there. With God, all things are possible. And it's a nice bag. Um, and I'm supposed to stay away from pink. But... That was the only color they had, so I got that. Uh, really quick, I did get this bag from Burlington the last time, but I don't think you guys saw when I had got this bag. So I got that pretty French Connection bag. 
I really love it. So let's go into like just home stuff. I really didn't pick up that many home products, but I am glad that I found this ice tray. I've been on the search for an ice tray with a top on it. So I got this Polar Ice Cube Easy Release Ice Cube Tray. It has 18 cubes and it's like a plastic soda. The ice will come out really quick um, once you push it up and it has a top on it. So yes, I'm really excited about that because I cannot stand ice trays in a freezer without a top on it like I just it's just I don't know um let me give you guys the prices so for my bag this bag it was here's the um label this is a boho living bag and it was $4.99 $4.99 bag so that's that uh, for the ice tray, this ice tray was $4.99 as well. So you'll get the item and the prices on this too. And then I've picked up some stuff from clearance as well. Um, and then I asked the guy, like, why was this $2.09? Um, this little bottle here. Um, because it didn't even have a, he was like saying it didn't have a top. Like one of these tops is supposed to be a, like an oil bottle was recently telling babe about how I wanted an oil bottle and I definitely got one now it didn't have this top on there but I saw one that was like bigger but I was okay with this one um and so I'm not gonna sit here in front or lie I went and got the top off of uh, the same bottle like this and just put it on top because he said that they didn't have any more tops I was like this right there and then, so, um, I guess they didn't have no more tops, like, when they ship it or something like that. But, yes, yeah, so I got the top, and I just placed it on the bottle. It fit well, so I did that. And then, um, I made my own little oil, uh, olive oil or, uh, vegetable oil bottle. And it was only two oh nine on clearance. I don't know what the original price was. I don't even think it had a price, um, because it didn't have that top, but, Yeah, I made a oil bottle on my own. <laughs> Barely too. So I bought my son um, these clothes here. Um, so I bought him a Muhammad Ali shirt. It says the greatest of all time. I bought him one of those. I thought that was so cute. Um, or handsome. Um, this shirt was only $6.99. And then I bought him some shorts, long shorts. He can wear these for the summer. He can wear them now for $6.99. If you have kids, um, Burlington is basically the place to go to shop for them because um, they are very um, not expensive. So these shorts were $6.99, but these are they're called Refinery Public. And they would have been like $24.99 at the refinery store. So that's really cheap. So these pop these these shorts have like pockets in the uh in the back and then two pockets in the front and then it has like camouflage on the side. So I thought this was really, really cute for him or handsome. <laughs> Y'all know. I'm always thinking everything cute. I bought babe without even noticing. I bought babe the same item. So I bought him a whole outfit. The same, um, with the same, uh, what I'm trying to say, with the same brand. So I bought him this shirt. It's by Alexander Julian. So it's just a normal white shirt. Um, I paid, where is the tag? Okay, so I paid only $6.99 for this white shirt. And if we had bought it at the store, um, the vintage brand and work where um i would have paid 46 dollars so 6.99 compared to 46 dollars i'm saving 40 dollars <laughs> um so i bought him this shirt and then um i bought him these shorts these khaki um shorts here and these shorts were $14.99 original price, but I got them on clearance for $7.99. Now, if we had went to the store and bought these shorts, 
um, we would have been paying $56 for these. So it's called, the color's called British Khaki. So these are the shorts. Got pockets on the side, pockets at the top, got a little belt that goes with it, and then you got your pockets at the back as well. And I just didn't like the fact that that guy, he just bought them up and threw them inside of the bag. Like, okay, and, and so I was like, I need to take those out and re- uh, I'm that person at the store where I'm like, if I buy one of those recycle bags, I need to fold my clothes and put them in a recycle bag uh, quickly um, because I don't want it to get wrinkled. And he was like, uh, I'm going to fold them for you, blah, blah, blah. I look in the bag as I'm leaving out. I'm like, no, <laughs> you did not fold anything. So I got myself this cute little body dress, not trying to match my baby. He going to think I'll try to match him, but look at that. This is like so matchy, like for me and him, we can match one day. Um, but this has like black, it has like a like a khaki brown color, um, and it has white in there. And I just need to find some sandals, cute little sandals to go with this. But this is really cute, and I've been on my whole like little weight loss journey too, you guys. So I cannot wait to get into that. Um, for non clothes like underwear and stuff, I just bought myself these boy shorts. Just some regular boy shorts. And these were uh, 180, 198. My dress, I forgot to tell you guys how much I paid for it. Um, I, for my dress was just $8.99. And uh, I bought a couple of socks just for me and babe. I have a lot of socks. My son has a lot of socks, but I still like to keep us on socks. So I bought some socks, 10 pair for $5.99. And that's for babe. And then I bought my socks for $4.99. And they have like different colors. Black, gray. You you see it. <laughs> so you can get some great deals at Burlington. Um, if you look around. I, I spent like an hour in that store to be honest, y'all. And then I got babe some boxers. So if you're looking for your boots and boxers. Um, they have all kinds of boxes for all shapes and sizes then i got him some more t-shirts um and this all freedom alone t-shirts and that's it you guys so anyways thank you guys so much for watching again if you made it this far why not go ahead and subscribe and help your sis out and support her channel and thank you so much i've seen the views i've seen the subscribers growing and i just want to thank you guys so much from my heart, the center of my heart, the center, not the bottom, but the center, because that's most important to me, is the center of my heart, um, and y'all family, so y'all get that, y'all get that, y'all get the center of my heart, <laughs> so, but anyways, I gotta go, y'all, I gotta put up this stuff, then I gotta clean out the cat, y'all already know how mamas work around here, we're working around here, so anyways, we leave a job, we gotta come home to another job, that's just how it works, so, Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Talk to you guys later.